Hello my soccer universe. Yeah, I'm gonna make a lot of videos today because a lot of things have been piling up. I honestly didn't have much time to make any videos sooner. And yeah, let's the first video is the topic of uh, Valverde being sacked, um, which is now the next sacking video that I'm gonna make. I made one when Mourinho uh, got uh, appointed at Tottenham with uh, Pochettino out, uh, which I thought was worth a video because Mourinho is back in the game and also because the move didn't make sense and so far if we see it hasn't really worked out all that great. Uh, I made of course one for my beloved Milan. I once talked about Barcelona sacking the coach. Uh, you can go back and watch that too. Um, I was really thinking about the Arsenal and uh, Napoli hirings and firings there but to be honest um, a, I didn't really find the time, which is probably the most important, but um, the Napoli CA situation was anyway so messed up already and probably deserves its own video. Yes, the high profile coach was being sacked, so that would have been, uh, deserved the video. And Arsenal, to me at the moment, the names involved honestly did not justify such a video. And at this moment, Arsenal, yes, I made a Milan video, but I'm a Milan fan. So let's talk about uh, Valverde being out. Boy, was this a train wreck on the Barcelona board. Um, as I said in my video, I think Valverde should have been sacked by the end of the last season. I think we don't need to talk around that. There's no reason to have uh, to keep him around. Other than that, maybe you didn't have a suitable candidate uh, lined up. But what's different now? Um, first of all, the timing of the second comes four days, five days after a Super Cup loss. And I said, I'm not going to talk about the Super Cup. Just uh, the fact that Barcelona lost 3-2 in the semifinal against Atletico. Atletico would have been 2-1 in the last 10 minutes. Something like that. Um, seems to be a kind of an odd reason. What, of course, happened is, since they were already in Saudi Arabia, yeah, let's go to our buddy Xavi, who is in Qatar and is a coach there. Maybe he wants to become our coach. He would fit. Uh, of course, he declined. Um, of course, they wanted to line up, I mean, many say Ronald Koeman. Uh, sounds all right. I mean, Ronald Koeman definitely is a Barcelona legend, but to be honest, uh, his club coaching credentials are not all the great. On the other side, Barcelona is a make or break team. I mean, if you're doing well with Barcelona, you are entering the upper echelon. I'm sure they would have looked at um, a great coach like Pochettino. Uh, Pochettino said he'd rather live uh, in a shed on the countryside than coach Barcelona because of his Espanol past. So yeah, uh, and selling that to, to his fans uh, would not work. Um, many say Ten Hag would have been a perfect um, replacement. I'm actually not so sure. Um, he has done great things with Ajax, but I think he needs to back it up. Uh, and I'm not sure. He seems to be more like a Bayern candidate, although that uh, also remains to be seen. So, yeah, all these coaches didn't really want to. I mean, Ronald Koeman has the Euros. I mean, you jettison uh, the Dutch uh, immediately if you um, take away their, their coach. That it works in a co-role is neither fair to the Dutch national team nor is it fair to Barcelona. So I think that never would have really worked. So uh, the timing was uh, weird to sack Valverde. That he needs need 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 to be sacked was evident. I said Barcelona has lost their identity. Uh, they clearly clearly were in need of a rehaul and some new life. Uh, Suarez is now out, uh, which makes it not much more enticing for others to step in. So yeah, who do they get? Kike Setien. Uh, many say who. I honestly, I mean, I know I saw him at Betis where he did really good work in the first year. I heard also the Gran Canaria. Uh, I think he did uh, Las Palmas. He did a great job where the teams were overachieving and he is clearly a disciple of the Johan Cruyff Guardiola school of thought. So that fits perfectly with Barcelona. Although I think he has now, he did get a two and a half year contract. I honestly, honestly, honestly think uh, it's a little bit 
challenging to take over this Barcelona side now and try to instill it that idea again after all this Valverde stuff. What would probably work in his favor is that, yeah, Suarez is out. Me possibly never play for Barcelona again, from what I hear. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can now stick Griezmann in the central role. Maybe this will fit him a little bit better. Who knows? You can also get active on the market, uh, give him some uh, more pieces that he can actually build a nice attacking side. One that all fans of good soccer and of course all Barcelona fans would love to see because this is what has been missing from Barca and um, Valverde. I think his first season was sensational with the exception of the, the debacle in Rome. And up until Anfield, uh, last season was also great. And now, even with a really poor season for Barcelona standards, they were still in first place. So, uh, it seems weird to me that you sack, just from the face of it, you sack Barcelona being in first place and having lost a glorified friendly. Uh, I would have let him see out the season and then you regroup because then you have a much broader uh, scale of candidates. On the other side, if Kiki Setien uh, works out, uh, would be great because, I mean, the promise is great. I just don't see him ever finishing out a two and a half year contract. Gotta be honest like that. Um, I don't see it. I give him one and a half seasons and I'm not so sure how he would do in a Champions League. But, you know, maybe just goes forward. So those are my sense on Barcelona's higher hiring. Um, again, I find it a little bit weird. I find it was a train wreck from the... Uh, board going around, yeah, haha, we are talking about others while you're still our, our, our coach and then you need to act. And I guess Kike Seatien was, I don't know how high he was on their list, but it seems like that, yeah, at least he was a backup that seemed viable. Let's see. And I don't know, uh, we all hear about the all powerful Messi and so on. I honestly, you know, he's the coach. So let's see how that goes. Let me know what you think about the firing of Valverde. I know many Barcelona fans are rejoicing. Um, I'm always a little bit careful with those things. Be careful what you wish for. Anyway, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below on anything I said and touched on. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.